What it do, man? Um, just an update on the C3. I know the first video I posted was, um, it just was a, a compilation of things. I, to be honest, I see some cats out here on YouTube when I mean, they're doing it big. They're crazy. Those are not my dogs. Definitely neighbor dogs. They get on my last nerve. So, they doing it big, man, with these views and all that. I, really, what I want to accomplish with my page, man, is I, I just want people to realize, like, you don't have to have a whole lot of money to get this stuff done. You just got to have a little will, uh, a little energy, and I'm good country boy, you know, raised in South Georgia. So, we, we used to use the term, we, we'll rig it up, you know, just for the sake of, it might be a lot of different people watching my page, but we're Jimmy Rig, Jerry Rig, however you say, you know, however you want to say it, man. But, uh, you know, I caught me a little welder from Harbor Freight, I, and so this pretty much, I got my floors done. Um, a lot of the, the I'm a, I bought me a sewing machine, so I'm gonna do most of my interior, but for right now, I just need, I wanna be up, you know, I wanna be running. So I may start out with a little $2,000, 355, 300 horsepower engine, and then, you know, I'll go up from there. But I, I don't have a whole lot of money, man. Uh, uh, I'm just blessed, and, and I I want I want I like muscle cars. I like old school cars, preferably Chevy. You know I respect all other brands, but Chevy's where my heart is. My first car was a 1979 Monte Carlo Lander, and so went on from that to a 1981 Pontiac Bonneville, and then 2007 Mini Cooper S, which I still got the Mini Cooper. Um, got the 1980 Vet. My wife bought me last year for my birthday. Been working on that. We got another little. Um, what is it, 2014, um, 350, E350, and then, yeah, and I got, got, a, got a Harley, um, she got Street Glide, I have a, um, a Deluxe, Soft Tail, and so we, we just try to make it do with what we, what we have, man, so I'm, I'm gonna get into it, just show you guys where I am with the whip and some of the plans. So here's the whip, pretty much, as you can see, I jimmy welded uh, some uh, <laughs> some some floor pads in. You know, I just ordered some 18 gauge metal. I still got actually a whole sheet of 18 gauge. That's how it come 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 in the package like that. You know, I got my seats over there. That's my dash, which I'm you know I'm working on that, trying to figure out how I'm gonna do. I might fiberglass. I'm gonna build my own center console, which is why I bought that piece. That's my hood over there, and uh, I still got a whole lot doing the engine. I ain't even gonna talk about that right now, but. You know, I pretty much got my uh, POR 15 down, and I'm gonna wait to that. It, it dried overnight, but I just put like a second coat on it for some of the areas that it didn't really cover real good. So it's a 1980 vent, four speed. They go my little Harbor Freight welder, which works really well. I'm not an expert welder. I did cover these, and um, I'm gonna recover this. But so the actual wrap comes with the wrap come with. It's like a gloss wrap but I don't like the gloss. So what I do is slowly but surely I peel them off. And then what happens is it comes out like this. So let me just take this off. And I got, you know, weather strip and everything. So I, I mean, it's, I'm doing it as, as best you can do. I don't start a sand in the whip, you see? So this is how it looks. Like if I clean that up, that'll be quite nice. But that's without the gloss. See that little gloss stuff? I peel that off. And then just have this, just straight carbon fiber joint. But I got a, I got a lot of that wrap in the house where I couldn't, you know, I'll rewrap it. I just was testing it out to see where I want to go with it. You feel me? So let me put this down. I don't want it to, I apologize for all the extra noise. But as you can see, we came out of Florida, but I'm born and raised out of Georgia. You feel me? My family moved. So, you see the old seats over there. I took those, put a little spray on them or whatever, just for right now. But I'm probably order some more seats. And you see my other stuff up there. But this is my little setup. So, with the interior, I'm going with, uh, I got this too. I just, I wrapped those. So that color gonna be on the, in, on the inside. I'm thinking about ordering some more uh, gauges or what have you. See my little sign, Corvette Boulevard. Um, I need some new seat belts or what have you. Couple of little, little, just little ends and knots, man. But yeah, so once I get the floors finished, 
you know, they dry, whatever. I got some, uh, I do a lot of Corvette America shopping, so. Oh, that's my carpet, or what have you. It's the whole carpet for the inside of the car. Got a fan, cause the, the, the car actually has an electric fuel pump. And so, I'm probably gonna go with the fan, but I might put the fan on this side of the end, this side instead of over here, just to help air is blowing through here, help pull it, pull it through that way. So, still trying to figure that out. But yeah, man, that's where I'm at right now. Uh, 1980 uh, Corvette C3. I am ZB Wash C3. So you can follow me at, uh, at ZB Wash C3. But I'm gonna get this thing right for y'all, man. Like it's, right now it look like a, a little cluster. Like it's a mess, but you see, I started sanding. And I'm just trying to sand down most of that clear coat that's peeling off right there. I'm gonna sand all that. And then I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna plastic dip it just to, you know, so I can roll clean and just, you know, until I get it to where I really, really want it. But I'm gonna, like I said before, I'm gonna build a center console. But that's the whip for right now, man. So shout out to everybody. So man, I appreciate y'all, uh, you know, logging on, tuning in to your boy. Uh, yeah, so hope, hopefully, you know what I'm saying, get some some, some likes, some some something, you know, help motivate a couple of people to do what they do on that. I do, I mean, me and my wife, got we got a page. Um, so, but this, this is my automotive page. You know what I'm saying? When I'm working on my bike, working on my car, I'll holler at y'all. So stick with me.